Well, yeah. That's a treat. That's well, a treat. There goes Bruce. Ah. Ah. Hello friends, Tubback. Playing some more Ark. Aberration. Today, we're going to tame some crabs. Carcanos, I believe they're called. So I built a trap up. We'll get over there in a little bit. Uh, I killed all the crabs off because they're all 40 or lower. So I've been killing them off waiting for something better to spawn. But in the meantime, we got to make a, a saddle up too. In order to make a saddle, so we need 80 blue gems. The fiber, fungal wood, hide, we've got all that. The blue gems we're going to need. So we're going to run over and grab some of those real quick now. While we wait for the spinos to respawn. So let's go ahead and do that. I got all my tools and, and stuffs. Got wings, got food, got a sword. Should be good enough. So, I know it's dark out, but it should be all right. Let's go get this done. If we go this way, this is actually where I found the the shine horn. So if you're looking to tame one of the shine horns, I, uh, I put up the little piece of my stream when I'd actually tamed mine. Oh, that's a dodo, but that was a shine horn right there. This is where I found mine. It was up here, just barely getting into the edge of the uh, of the blue biome. Yeah, I think so. Yep, level twenty shine horn. You relatively safe here. You look relatively safe. Ooh, what level is that mole rat? Or roll rat? They've been looking for one of those. Give me a give me a name. I missed it. I know it showed it, but I missed it. Oh, well, let's grab these. I think these are blue. Yep, blue gems. We're gonna need 80 of them, so we'll just grab whatever we can hold here. How we doing? All right, he's still doing all right. I just want to see what this roll rat was level wise. I'm keeping an eye out for one. No. Oh. You'd be hard pressed to get much worse than that. Unless it was already dead, the only way it's gonna get any worse. So let's head on back to base. We'll drop off this crystal, probably make up a saddle, and then uh, we'll head out from there. So we'll catch you guys up back at base. All right, so we're back at base. So let's go ahead and get the saddle made up in anticipation of great and wonderful things. Go ahead over to our trusty smithy. Dump some blue gems in there. Get rid of that egg. I think we're going to be needing some eggs down the road here. Oh, I got a level. Nope, not escape. I, I need a level in fortitude. Right. So, let's, uh, Carcanos. Craft one. What else are we missing? Fibre. Sure we've got plenty of fiber. Yep. So we can definitely go ahead and make a second one should we need to. Where is it? Did it craft already? Oh, there it is. The way is 25. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. I do know that the crabs like spoiled meat. I know I've got some. Oh, I may have a lot now. Probably have a couple stacks, but that's all right. I'd rather have a couple of stacks than not have enough. Let's go ahead and put this in here. He's already got more in here, as you can see. I've been carrying honey around, waiting to find a good uh, roll rat. I've not come across one yet. Other... Uh, notable thing here, this when the when the earthquake happens and you get the resources to fall out of the ceiling, there is a very small percentage of chance for an actual like weapon or tool to fall. So it's kind of worth keeping an eye out. I don't know if I'd sit around every time a volcano happens, but it is worth just kind of keeping an eye out for an item to drop. There aren't a lot of drops that have come across so far. So I think in the easier parts of Aberration, I think that finding loot drops is fairly difficult. We've got one that spawns across from uh, from base. I think the best thing I got out of it so far was a pair of pliers and they were vanilla. 
So, yep. I think for good loot drops, we're going to have to get deeper, deeper into the difficulties. I'll show you what we built up here. It is, I believe it is, it's, I know it's eight foundations wide, and I believe it's six foundations deep. So I used, it's a six by, yeah, because six by eight is 48, and I used 50 foundations, because you want to do two off the end where you mount your catapult, you do two foundations off, and then up. So you go two foundations off the back, and then up two large S plus pillars, which I think is four regular pillars. Then you that's where you're gonna mount your your catapult. Actually, uh, Bruce Wolf, my buddy, actually he uh, figured out the distance. So he's the one who told me where I wanted to be on that. Stamina up, carry on. Seems to be working pretty decent. I've only... I tried to do a practice run on it once. I killed the... Uh, the Karknos, so... Hopefully we'll do better a second time around. It was only a level 40 or 50 or something. It wasn't anything fabulous. So I just wanted to kind of run a test through it. See how, it, see how everything worked. Seemed to work out okay. Other than the crab getting kind of bugged out on one side. Kind of got stuck in the wall for a while. So it was tough to get him turned around and centered. Where I got it... Where I had to have him to shoot at him. But after I ran around in front of him on foot and freaked him out, he seemed to come too. Okay, got a spino. There's a crab. What level are you, Mr. Crab? Ooh, oh baby. Oh baby. Okay, so what level are the Spinos? I just assume kill them, but if they're crazy good, 85 and 90. Alright, they're not that good. They're no better than what this guy was. There's another crab, too. 125 would be a heck of a crab if we can get him. Actually, let's check and see what that other crab is. Did that say one? I think that said 125. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, Piranha, I swear. You're going to drive me out of my mind. This crab's probably going to end up dying. He's already bloody. Not sure what we're going to do here. I'd like to get both of them, but... I think I want to try to get one of them in the cave first. Or in the cage first. And then go from there. Trying to hit just the Sarko. Sarko, stop swimming. Nope. I think this is. Yeah, this thing's gonna die anyway. Fortunately, that was a 140 Sarko eating a 125 Karkonos. That's a. That was a mess. All right. Hopefully we can work with the other one here. Hopefully that one's faring a little bit better. Clean out the critters in here. Alright, so for this should be a 125. Yep. And this one is like a 90 or something spino. Yep, it is. And what is the roll rat? Okay, the roll rat can go away. Hopefully I can hit the spino's tail. Yeah, I can. 
There we go. There we go. Now we got it going. You coming? Come on. We're going to need piranhas that we might have to contend with here. Come on, Krabby. You got nothing. You got nothing. Still coming? Nope. Get me off it. Get me off of there. Come on, crab. What you got? Didn't even care. Ah, stupid crab. Get over here. Come on now. That's right. That's right. You want a piece of this? Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in the cage. You're in there. Stupid bug, get out of my way. You're ruining it for everybody. So now, we want to go ahead and put these guys here. Because we want to try to lock them as far in as we can. Are you kidding me? Alright, we might have to just work with what we got here. Do you have my metal or do I have my metal? Alright, let's go do this. See if we can hit this guy. Ammo. Craft me up some more. Now we gotta try to hit him in the body. I think that was good. Now I hope I'm hitting him in the body. You gotta watch out for them arms. Turn, buddy, turn. Okay, come on. Don't know if these are counting or not. I'm trying to time it for when he's got his arms down. can't tell if I'm hitting them good or not. I thought they do a little squat thing when it's a good hit. It doesn't look bloody. Oh man, he keeps, when he does that little squat thing, I keep thinking I've actually got him. Now he's got some blood on him. Uh, I think we might have to bail on this. I think I need a spyglass. So, um, I'm going to go get a spyglass and see if I can't get somebody maybe to give me a hand. Then I'll go ahead and bring you guys back. I don't want to... Uh, this is a pretty good level one, so I don't want to lose him. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Looking to getting some help, heal this guy up, start over again, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. 
Alright anyway. guys, so we're back. I got uh, got my buddy Bruce Wolf help me out now. What's up, man? What up? Gotta bring in the experts to get the expert job done. So, what do you think? I got the walls pinched in a little bit better. Um, every time I get in close, he keeps picking me up now. So, right now is probably your best opportunity. It looks like he's focused on me. Nah, he's not. He's not. He just he just wanted to make a liar out of me real quick. You uh, you got the spyglass going? What's he look like? Or the, the magnifying glass? Yeah, let me uh, get in here on him. Uh, yeah, he's he's about half, so we're going to have to let him sit for a little bit. All right. You can do that. Okay, health's going up relatively. I mean, it's not fast, but it's going up steadily. Yeah, it I won't guess. take too long. All right, cool. Then uh, I guess I'll bring the people back once we get them back up healthy a little bit. No, no, what are you? I don't know what you're doing. Stop it. Stop it. What the? Hmm. Did you kill it? You freaking killed it. Killed me too. All right, guys. Well, I've got I've got this crab in the cage now. The second one, finally. It took forever for it to respawn. It's at level 25. But at the same time, I was caging this guy up. Uh, Bruce has a level 150 cage over his house. So we're actually gonna head over there and tame that one with him, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys over there. All right, guys, we're back. We're over here at the Phallus Palace, the Wolf Brothers' abode. So, uh, <laughs> so he's got this 150. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we got this crab here. So you can see he's a level 150. He has 6,700 torpor and 5,500 health. So, hey, like Bruce is telling me, you hit him in the body, you do torpor. You hit him in the legs, you don't. So you do 250 damage no matter where you hit him. If you don't hit him in the in the body. You don't do the torpor, so there's a, a limited amount of room for error. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, there's... since Bruce yeah. is an enemy of mine, I can't actually operate his catapult. So I'm going to sit down here with you. The... Are you are yeah. one whistle away from a complete and utter annihilation? How's that make you feel down there? That that is true. <laughs> Although it would not be the end of the story, it would be the end of my current life. <laughs> so... I'm so taking your glider off. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we're going. All right, so we're up to 1,300 torpor. It's hard to see. 17, 2,000 torpor. We have more torpor than damage. Much more. We're almost halfway. Oh, oh, oh he's wiggling. He is. Spin still. Spin to win. All right, we're just about 4,000 torpor. We are. We're about two thirds torpor and half damage. So we're doing good. Bruce is a. Bruce is the shot. Uh, I can't see him. Oh, oh, where is he? There he is. Oh, one more hit, and he's out. All right. I might have done this once or twice. Yeah. So for those watching that uh, are thinking about trying this, it's always a good idea to not, you know, 250 tor damage for a hit and 400 torpor for a hit. Do the math. Figure out exactly how many shots you have and how many you can miss. Right, especially if you're doing it alone. So you know ahead of time, yeah. you know, divide whatever the number is by 250, and you know how many times you can actually shoot it. I was afraid to pick the glass back up again because I want to hit him by mistake. Yeah, that, that would be my luck. Right. Anyway, yeah, we'll uh, well we'll bring the people back once uh, once he's waking up. So we'll be back. Sounds good. All right, guys, we're back, and hopefully the crab's gonna be standing up here in a minute. We'll see if Bruce's mathing is correct. Ninety nine point two. Hate, hate, hate. Bruce's mathing is not correct. So we're waiting <sighs> to go here. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce is a well, fail. It was within it's within the ten percent margin of error. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, so, all right, so I guess back to enjoying the view. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys this. This is a uh, the view down into the the giant tree area. I don't even know what to call it. This is blue zone. That's uh, misty marsh. Everybody just calls it blue. All the right. next one down is purple. That's where you're going to start running to radiation. And the bottom one is red. And then there's the uh, hell, which is the bottom level where the rock drakes small. Yeah. You got to wait right. for this guy to wake up. Earthquake. There it is. And uh, it's alive. Yeah, dead. And it's going to eat me. No, don't eat me. All right. Uh, passive. You. Uh, how I do this again? Unclaim. Unclaim. Perfect tame. Max level crab. Nailed it. Nice. Two twenty-four. That's uh, ain't that something? 
Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. I believe, like you were saying before, I think that's the highest level crab on the server. Yes, it is. Yes, cool. it definitely is. It's In case anybody one. out there is wondering, the main reason I didn't just tell Bruce to keep this one is because they're kind of past this at this point. They're up to, they're up to the rock drakes yeah. and, and whatnot. So, which I have to go check on my. So my first test crab is a is a perfect tame, perfect enough. Yeah, let's take a look at uh look at our dudes here. Are you guys adults yet? You're not. You're lies, lies and slim. So stats are pretty good. He's starting off with 430 melee damage, which is mm. not horrible. 1400 weight. Very not nice. Bad. 8400 health and 2600 stamina. Pretty good. And he'll never be hungry at 20,000 food. Right. Yeah. But they're definitely good. They're all around us. Uh, do you want to play with the buttons? I think I have my glider on. Yeah. So uh, if you like hold down either left click or right click. It's a grab and hold. Yep. But being that you're, uh, you're oh, not you're an bad. ally, I'll probably do damage to you if I pick you up. Solid experiment to do. I'm curious about it. For science. For science. The Wolf fast. Brother Mantra. Uh, you travel with them by leaping. Yeah. They can cover massive tracts of land in yeah. a single leap. So you, you said just... you hold C? Uh, yeah, once you, here, pick, once you pick something up. Where are you? Here, hi. There, so okay. I got a Bruce. So if you hold down C, it'll give you some crosshairs. Yep. Uh, when, you, when the crosshairs are showing, you'll actually hit pretty dang close to that mark. Um, but if you want to like go in the generation, just that general direction and go as far as you can, you just tilt it up until it, you're past where the cross, uh, the, the crosshair disappears. Oh, they go pretty far then. Yeah. So if I put you here. Pull! Whip! Well, yeah! That's a treat! That's well, a treat! There goes Bruce. Ah! Ah! Star I Wars. may have aimed you at the tree. Well, I didn't want to shoot you out of render distance. So, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a reason. And so the same thing with the jump. So I hold down the space bar. And you can see I don't have nearly the distance I do when I'm throwing. But if I hold down the space yeah. bar, aim for in front of that tree, and let go. Bam! I'm on my way. Look at me. I'm flying. And the land pretty much right where I was aiming. I fell yeah. a couple feet short. But that could have been where the crosshairs actually were. All right, guys, we're back at base, and we're going to see you guys next episode. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Twitch TV. It's WGKG on both. I do a lot more streaming than videos, but I want to show you guys the uh, the crab team. Just happened to be a crab perfect team, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, yeah, like I said, follow me over on the other platforms. Follow me on Twitter. You'll see when I go live on Twitch, and then jump on in the stream and hang out with us. We'll see you guys over there. I'm Stub. You guys are awesome. Game on.